here's the question. What are you going to do for democracy in the world? Right, that sounds like an odd question to ask in Iceland. It's a small place. You might not think of yourselves as central to the future of democracy in the world. But what I want to do in the next three minutes is try to convince you just why Iceland is so central to the future of democracy in the world. Because if you think about democracy across the world, it's failing across the world. And it's failing because ordinary people feel like their leaders don't listen to them. And like a five-year-old child at a certain point, they have to act out. And they have to act out in a way that gets the attention of their leaders. So think about what's happened in Britain with Brexit, or in Germany with the AFD party, or in the United States with Donald Trump. Americans are toying with the idea of electing a man who fantasizes about using nuclear weapons as their president because they are so deeply frustrated. I believe it's critical to show people around the world that democracy is possible, that people can actually do something. And that's why I came here, not just here today, but that's why I came here to Iceland with my family this fall. Because eight years ago, when you, like the rest of the world, confronted the collapse of your economy, you discovered that that collapse was tied to a problem in your government. And what you did in response to that was something no one else in the world did. You motivated each other to begin a process of constitutional reform, a crowdsourced constitution, which began with an incredible process of gathering the attitudes, the, the ideas of ordinary Icelanders, representative sample of a thousand people to say what the values of a constitution should be. And then you began a process to draft a constitution. In four months, you drafted a constitution. It took our founders four months too, but our founders didn't post the drafts to Facebook every week. And after that process, you had an election, a referendum, where more than two thirds of Icelanders endorsed the idea of the constitution. And when I tell this story around the world, at each of these chapters, people are amazed. And then I tell the story that the parliament did not adopt the constitution. And they are amazed again, because they can't understand how such an extraordinary expression of democratic will is ignored. I think we, citizens of the world, need an example of democracy working. And the reason we need you to do this is I'm sure it will make your democracy work better, but it will make the possibility of democracy around the world seem hopeful again. And we can take this story all around the world and say we can learn and follow the lead that happens here. You started something extraordinary six years ago. And that chapter, the next chapter, can make that even more extraordinary now. So I'm grateful we're having this conversation and I'm eager to hear what we can do to make this hopefulness for democracy something the whole world can celebrate. Thank you. Thank you very much.